What if I told you there is a common plant out there that's already been clinically tested for safety, and it obviously is passed with flying colors, that has been shown to block the virus HIV-1 in our usual relation to what we know as AIDS. And basically, not only does it block it, it does it in a way which is not harmful nor toxic. Now keep in mind, this is done primarily in vitro or in a test tube, I should say, not in humans yet. But you would like to be able to continue the research to see if it actually does have beneficial impact in people. Now in an article called Geranium Extracts Inhibit HIV-1 and published in the Public Library of Science online. And at the end of this video or in the comment section, I will link the study so you can research it on your own. I should say the clinical study itself. So you can look at it for peer review. Basically, this is what they said in their words. And I'm going to use try to say the Latin. It is Palergonium sidioides, otherwise in their words called PS. Contains compounds that attack HIV-1 particles and prevents virus replication. They demonstrated, and this is in their words, not mine, because I don't want to add them. They demonstrated that PS extracts protect blood and immune cells from infection by HIV-1, the most widespread type of HIV. The PS extracts, or use a simple name, African geranium, block attachment to virus particles to host cells and thus effectively prevented the virus from invading cells. And this is the plea from the researchers. After discovering this breakthrough, often what happens is then they try to get funding. The unfortunate part is for a lot of these researchers in items which are not patented, there's no return or very little return for investors. So often researchers will have to plead for additional funding by either colleges or governments in order to basically continue the research because they're not going to get through private investment. Private investment requires a return. So, this was their plea. In the interest of translational research, the acquired knowledge is to be applied to humans as quickly as possible in order to provide concrete benefits for society. Again, it is January 2014. You'll be able to research it on your own in the public libraries, online of science, and it's titled Geranium Extracts Inhibit HIV-1. Extremely promising extremely powerful, extremely beneficial. Now, all these AIDS organizations chip in a little bit of extra money to get this research to continue a little further, and do something good for mankind. Otherwise, thank you.